In an earlier video, I showed you how to make this doodad puller using a lopped off C-clamp. It works, but it's a bit fragile because there's sloppy machining in the way this is made. This is not machined, this is cast, and it puts all of the stress on one or two threads. And you can see here, I broke it by uh, overstressing it and it just snapped off these threads. The Doodad 2.0 has a little better quality materials. I ordered some 5 8 by 8 threads per inch Acme threaded rod, cut that to length. Then I cut some 1 inch steel tubing to length. You have to use a uh, bench grinder or something to grind down about an inch and a half of the end of this. I'm just going to grind until those threads disappear because the core of this is exactly the size I want to tap it to half inch. And then cut threads uh, half inch fine, half inch 20 threads per inch. For, for that distance. You use a square nut and permanently fix it to that by also tapping it at half inch by 20 threads per inch. I took a half inch fine um, tap and, and put cut fine threads over these coarse threads. It's not a great idea in terms of machining, but it works so um, because I, I couldn't find for sale a, uh, a fine threaded square nut in these dimensions. This drill bit is might be 27 64 it's, uh, it's under a half inch 0.46 um, and I'm going to bore out this 3 8 coupler nut. So now we've drilled this out to a little under half inch and I'm going to use our half inch fine tap to tap it. You do want to get this one as straight as you can because this will be the spinner tool and uh, it'll wobble a lot if you don't get it straight. And There are much better tools for doing what I'm doing. I'm just lining it up by eyeball. If you do this in a drill press, um, you can use the drill press to center everything and get it all in line, but it's one of those tools that as long as you make it strong enough, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole here through this. This is a little smaller. Um, I'm just doing a pilot hole first, but I'm going to go all the way through about um, three-eighths of an inch uh, from the end of, of the, the coupler nut so that I can put a pin through there to stop the bolt. When you put the pin through, it can go like that and give me a bolt. So you'll screw the bolt in and it only gets a few threads before it hits the pin so that when you're spinning the bolt that stops it. The rest of it, um, just a heavy duty washer, some uh, thrust bearings, bronze bearings, and a uh, 5 8 8 nut which is a special order item as well. It costs about eight, 8 or 10 bucks just for the nut. So all told, after you buy your uh, drill chuck adapter to make this into a spinner tool and a pin for putting uh, this through to act as a stop, um, you'll be at about $45 in, in, in parts and then a bit in labor. But uh, this is a pretty robust tool that works pretty well.